Hi, I'm Bulbuck, and welcome back to Donald Dowell and the Ghost of Bakumana. So, last time we had this cab driver, and we can show him the note, and he'll probably take us to the manor. Not terribly excited to go there, considering the fate of Bob Delano which we saw last time. It's quite far from here. I can take you there for 50 euros, but needless to say, off the meter. Do we have a deal? No way! I might be old, but I'm not bunkers. And besides, I'm not even that old. You must use the meter! As you wish. Jump in. I have a feeling this was a bad idea. <laughs> Let's see how far it goes up. What does it say? 25 and 5. Hmm. Oh, by the way, sorry for the audio issues last episode. Hopefully, they're fixed. Oh, the weather is getting worse. Typical Irish weather. Yeah. May I ask you a question? Go ahead. Uh, I know. I noticed the meters. I not. Oh. What cents? No, euro. Ah, I mean, it's, it's usually cab drivers that give deals like this are usually nice, nice to you, you know. And like, yeah, it's a good deal. But of course, there are exceptions. But All right, Barker Manor, amazing. We were right. You owe me a hundred euros. Yep, I had a feeling. A hundred euros? This, that is outrageous. Hey, you told me to use the meter. But I got nothing but... Uh, nothing but hundred euros. Not of my business. I see. Here you are. Thanks. Anyway... Enjoy your stay at Parker Manor. Pardon? That deafening noise covered everything. <laughs> so I'm not here, but lost it. I said, enjoy your stay at Parker Manor. I got it. <laughs> so this is Parker Manor. <laughs> Awesome. He didn't even give me the receipt. Yeah. Crook. Alright, let's just buzz ourselves in. Shouldn't be a problem. Burp. I mean, you search for it, it's this anyway. Yes? Is this Barker Manor? Barker Manor! <laughs> I could not hear you over the deafening noise. I am Mr. Lalana's assistant. Fine! I'll open a gate in a minute. Oh, you seem to have opened it now. Great, so there was no problem. Great, great, great. Let's just walk inside. Sweet. Hmm. Ooh, we're being watched. That's never a good sign. Uh, are those ghosts? Are you sure he's going to help us? I hope so. He might be a decrepit old man, but he looks quite tame. Hmm. Okay, so to the woods? Or we can just go in. I mean, it, it makes sense to just go in. We're just gonna find Joe, right? Hell. Good evening, my name is Donald Dowell, and I am Delano's new assistant. Very well, we've been waiting for reinforcements. I am Theodore Conan, the hotel manager. Conan? As in Conan the, the Barbarian? I said Conan, not Conan. Plus, I am not Barbarian. I come from Transylvania. Oh dear, 
a barbarian from Transylvania. <laughs> tell you once, I won't tell you twice. My name is Coman. Okay, I got it. I'm not bonkers, Mr. Conan. <laughs> Let's get down to br brass tacks. I urgently need to speak to Mr. Delano. I don't know where he is. Actually, I haven't seen him for a while. Must be investigating somewhere. Like it those investigators do. Roger that. I'm going to get to him. Fine. I'll be in my office. If you need some help of any, or any kind of information. Wow, he has a creepy walk. So, keep up the good work. Well, thank you. See you later, Mr. Cayman. What's <laughs> Cayman? <laughs> I keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, how long am I playing? I'm playing for a few more minutes, I guess. Uh, hi, Sherry. Can you tell me where Mr. Delano is? I haven't seen him since last night. He might be in his room. He still has his key. Perhaps Ernie's meatloaf was too much for him. Our cook is famous for his uh, side effects. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me his room number? Uh, the computer doesn't work. However, I found a way to unerringly remember the numbers of each room. Which is, you just multiply each name's surname letters by the street number of the manor, and then you divide the product by the number of sheep grazing on the adjoining lawn, and then you raise the result to the power of the inverse for the root of the manager's age. I see. I guess the pen doesn't work either. <laughs> I cannot calculate that. Could you help me? Sure. 106. Room 106. Thanks. Are you free next Saturday? <laughs> are we gonna hit on her? Yeah, let's try and hit on her. No, I'm having a slow dinner with... Methusela! I'm pretty sure he's a friend of yours. Impossible, that doesn't sound like an Irish name. Hey, I just realized she was referring to my age. Okay. Well done. Uh, enough talk, I'm going ghostbusting. Uh, I, I don't want to talk that much anyway. 106, that sounds like first floor type stuff. So yeah, yeah, 101. Hey, this song. One oh three, one oh four. One five and one oh six. Hmm. Well I haven't got much done this episode, so I'm just gonna go and go in and see what happens. The door is locked. Well Can't hear anything through it. Perhaps the one isn't isn't in his room. Or he might have fight, fainted. I need to find out more. Let's see if the next room, room door is open. Locked. Okay, no. Um, to the corner. Oh, ah, staff only. Perfect. Ah, locked. Hmm. Maybe the room above. Well, this doesn't look ominous at all. And it's locked anyway, so. to do then, I guess. Uh, so there seems to be a lot of things to check out, so I'm gonna try and do that in my own time. I'm just gonna save here. I like to alright, yes. And, well, I will catch you later. We will figure out what to do here, and uh, yeah, take it from there. See you guys. Thanks for watching.